It feels like Christmas morning because it is finally time for classroom setup day one. If you're new here, my name is Kristen. I teach first grade now. I used to teach third grade. This is gonna be my seventh year teaching. So now switching grade levels, I'm gonna be thrown in to a whole new realm of things. So it's gonna be a learning experience for sure. But obviously switching grade levels means I have to switch classrooms. So I have some things in the back of my car i didn't acquire that much over the summer but i did acquire some things just a lot of school supplies and just like organization things so that being said we are going to go into school i only have about five ish hours today i have a soccer game later at 6 30 so it's currently 11 34 i want to be out of here by five so then i can get home and change and then head to soccer so we don't have that much time but i just want to be as productive as i can we do not start officially back until august 26th it's currently august 19th so i have a full week before our contract time technically starts so we're gonna get as much done as we can i cannot wait to start setting up so let's go inside and i'm gonna see if i can drive my car next to my classroom door to bring all of my stuff in so let's go okay we made it into my classroom here's the back of the room cabinets this is all bulletin board back there i'm gonna move this carpet and keep it in the room but i'm not gonna keep this carpet in the room because it doesn't really match my colors then we have some shelves chromebook cart hooks and the rest of this is just all tables and furniture of my stuff so the first order of business is I think we're going to take this out and then I moved my car around to this side door right here. So then we're going to move everything in. There's really not that much stuff. And then I think the very first thing that I want to get done is figuring out where I want all of the furniture. I have a general idea of what I want, but I'm really not positive. So if I leave today with everything in place and like kind of where things are gonna end up i think i'll be happy so it's currently 12:07. we got like less than five hours so we're just gonna go into like speed mode and see how much we can get done stuck I moved the carpet to be like vertical instead I have my teacher area kind of kind of how I want it I'm just not again I, I know I said this last year and this year but like day one is just stressful and like you're feeling like you're accomplishing nothing but just figuring out like the logistics of where everything should go is like just tedious <laughs> so let me give you an overview. So that's down there. That's obviously going to be there for teaching. And like this is not going to be an area that students can touch at all. I did want to put my horseshoe table next to it, but I don't think there's going to be like room for it. So I don't think that's going to work. But the horseshoe table is probably going to go back here. I'm not sure how I feel about this like rolling 
cart thing. I don't know. It's not, I just don't know where a good spot for it would be. But I have this rug and then this is going to be like the library. But my problem is I want the calm down area to be over in this corner, but not connected to the library. So the Chromebook cart is basically the issue. Obviously, because this needs a plug, the only logistical explanation for where it to go would be into this corner. So then I can plug it in over here. So that is where we're at. I am feeling stressed out at the moment it's currently 205 so we still have three hours and i want to be more productive but i just am not i don't know I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like ah what do i do type situation so i think we'll move the chromebook cart we'll fix the rug that's right here that's probably where we're gonna have to chill for a minute then i think i'm gonna have a snack because i haven't eaten a real meal today and i'm hungry so Let's do that and then we'll check back in. chatting with some co-workers and just being a little bit off task but I'm sitting where I think my desk is going to be not positive but yeah essentially I think I figured out kind of how I want things to be I don't know I'm a little stressed but I'm starving so we're gonna have a little snack um, I have a banana, I have a poppy, I have an alani, which I think I'm gonna have because I need it for later for soccer. I have a chocolate bar, I have some smart sweets, and I have a s'mores chobani flip, and I also have caramel, ap caramel apple cinnamon kind bar. I saw these at the store and I was like, that actually looks really yummy. So. That's what we're doing. I need to set up my phone. I have my Alani and my yogurt. We're gonna eat this, and then see how much more I can get done. Obviously, the first day is not as productive as we want it to be. And that is okay. I think things are where I want them to be for the most part. But I really don't know what else I want to accomplish. I don't know. I'm just feeling just unsure, I guess you could say. But I don't know. Everything's going to be fine. It'll all work out. And yeah. It is currently 4.48. I think we have to stop there for today. I'm content with the progress that we've made. My teacher area, I think, is set of how I want it, I think. I took off all of those sound spelling cards because we're gonna put them above those ones right there. And I think the tables are where they're going to stay at the moment, so I'm pretty content with that because I got all the chairs and all of the drawers in, which just basically gets them out of the way, which is nice. But yeah, this is a complete mess still, but that's okay. That's a problem for another time. Obviously, I have like 
everything on the tables at the moment but I'd rather it be there than on like the ground or something but calm down corner I think is going to be over there the cabinets are like half full with random stuff so at some point I'm going to have to go through those air purifier is here for now but I'm not really sure if it's going to stay there because there's no plug like behind those cabinets so I don't have anywhere or any place for it to plug in I did want to have my small group area connected <laughs> to my teacher area but it's not going to work out this year and that's okay but that'll be back there and then we'll have like um reading writing math bulletin boards behind me so I think that'll be nice I think the secret stories are going to go above right here and the chromebook cart issue I think is solved if I keep it there and then I am not going to keep these stem toys in here I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them in bins I'm not really sure where those bins went but I got new bins from Michael's and we're going to put them in those bins and put them probably keep them on a shelf somewhere not really sure but we're gonna fill that with books instead and I had the other rug in here but I didn't really like how it looked so we just put this one here hopefully it won't move around too much because the bookshelves are sitting on it here's a quick little overview of the room it's not looking too shabby at the moment so it's 451 I have to get out of here but I will see you tomorrow for day two and hopefully we can get some more things organized and just looking a little bit better than it does today so comment down below any questions you have for me or ideas or anything like that and I will see you tomorrow for day two.